The Petite Hourglass. She's got curves for days, but not a lot of height. Can quickly look overwhelmed in her clothing. And so we've got some great style tips to help you along the way. This week's guest model is Kathy Donovan. She's a happiness coach and a media personality. You may have seen her on City Line. So Kathy, through trial and error, has made sense of what looks, what styles suit her personality, accentuate her curves, and complement her height and her shape. So, take it away, Kathy. Hi there, my name is Kathy Donovan. I am just under five feet tall. I'm a rounded hourglass. The things that I love about the shape that I have are the curves. I didn't know to appreciate my curves until I was in my 50s. I'm now 71 years old. So the last 11 years have been pretty cool when it comes to fashion because now I know how to dress my body or at least I have more information on how to make it look good. But the cool thing is I'm always learning new things. Challenge is being curvy and under five feet. I'm always looking for petite clothing and typically it's hard to find things that really do the things I need like the one third, two third rule or the, the sleeve need to be adjusted. I'm, I'm at my tailor a lot. I'm not there to fit fashion. Fashion is there to work for me. Styling up the rounded hourglass, let's go. We're starting with a top that's very pretty, but it's kind of forgotten where Kathy's curves are. It's too long, it's shapeless on her, we can do better. What does work is this boot cut jean. It's a cropped boot cut, the length is perfect, and more importantly, it really addresses the curves. It fits like a second skin, and that's how it's meant to be. We've uh, paired it with a soft knit piece Piece. The colors here are divine together and the proportions are great. It's cool, it's casual, but there's something about it. Add the denim jacket without that band at the bottom, okay? And again, the proportions are perfect. So here we are on the right, really showcasing Kathy. Now, here's the wild card, the wide leg pant. Not a pant she would have gone to, but we thought we'd, we'd go out of our classic styling here and consider the scale of accessories with this look. Absolutely go to a monochromatic. And here's the aha moment, the dress worn as a duster. So we're staying away from volume here. We're adding modern drape. And this is why it works. Again, the colors work together. The slit works for whatever body shape, whatever height you are. This is layering that is really smartly done. We can't speak. Uh, strongly enough about the importance of a monochromatic base. Same duster worn now as a dress. We're staying away from that classic, very fitted sheath dress. We're letting the knit fall over the curves and embrace them in a nice way. We're talking about high contrast colors here. They're important because yes, although we're doing stripes over the midsection, the pant here really it is important because the white kind of takes over. That's where the eye is drawn and the top is fitted. It's fitted, it's closer to the body on the right here and that's why it works. Dress options, again, staying away from that classic sheath. We're doing an empire waist. So we're bringing the waist up right below the bust line and that typically will elongate visually the look of the leg. This in turn lengthens the full silhouette. Yes, it's true, the old golden rule that solid colors will always maximize the silhouette versus prints. Now let's talk about fit because for the petite, any gaping or buckling or something ill-fitting is magnified when you're not so tall. So on the left, the big bold print, expressive for sure, but on the right, in the solid color, we see more of Kathy. Here's Kathy with a last thought on her inspiring fashion philosophy. That fashion works for me. It isn't for, uh, you know, I'm not there to fit fashion. Fashion is there to work for me. And I've really learned to embrace my body shape, embrace my style personality, and have a great time with clothes. Hope you found this segment informative. Did you know that we have a library of these mini body shape videos? We've also styled up different body areas that you may find challenging, like trying to create a waist or minimize a fuller bust or elongate the silhouette in general. So there's a lot for you to uh, hopefully look at and enjoy and learn from. As always, we wish you a great week and we look forward to your comments and suggestions for upcoming videos. Ciao for now.